welcome to epg patshala on the subject social medicine and community health i am professor sipi mishra working in the department of community medicine institute of medical sciences banaras hindu university and i shall be discussing the module sustainable development which belongs to the paper environmental health this module has been developed by a team comprising of myself as principal investigator this uh, paper on environmental health has been coordinated by dr vijay gupta ex personal head department of community medicine institute of medical science madras university varanasi and here this module has been prepared by myself and module has been prepared by dr gatman ex personal head department of community medicine institute of medical science madras university varanasi The learning objective that has been set for this module is: after going through this session, one should be able to define development and sustainable development, state historical landmarks of sustainable development, list various types of sustainability, and enumerate elements, dimensions of sustainable development, list parameters of sustainable development, identify key stakeholders in sustainable development, and mention strategies of sustainable development. enumerate principles of sustainable development enumerate measures component of sustainability and state linkages of sustainable development and environmental health and environment in general and list pillars of sustainable development now as far as sustainable development is concerned there are two concerns one is the improvement of lifestyle and well being and second concern is preserving natural resources and ecosystems as the population is rising and as people are more becoming more conscious for improving of their life lifestyle well being the natural resources are they are being exploited and they are gradually being depleted the sustainable development calls for making making a balance between these two processes these two processes sustainable development has been defined by world commission on environment and development as a development which meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of the future generation to meet their own needs so primarily the focus is that that we must take into consideration of preserving the natural resources and ecosystems for the welfare of the future generation as well sustainable development is a harmonious integration of sound and viable economy it calls for responsible governance it calls for social cohesion and ecological integrity to ensure that development is a life sustaining process sustainable development is a combination of economic development plus environmental protection plus social reform plus people's empowerment so there are basically four key pillars one is people's empowerment social reform environmental protection and economic development since 1987 there has been many different definitions of sustainable development and most commonly used and restrictive one is balance on the social economic and environmental developments which is often expressed in the following diagram one is economic development second is social development and third is environmental development all the three developments a two way must be maintained and that is the primary concern of sustainable development most treatments on on sustainable development are based on subjective descriptive conceptual and qualitative analysis there are too many intangible considerations and too many pitfalls in the conventional wisdom of economics therefore after several decades since the term sustainable development has been coined it is still very much a concept instead of a quantitative practice historical perspective 
United Nations Conference on Environment and Development or the 1992 Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro unanimously adopted Agenda 21, a blueprint for sustainable development. Millennium Developmental Goals United Nations General Assembly Resolution 55.2 outlined eight targets aimed at reducing poverty and promoting sustainable development. What Summit on Sustainable Development reformed the commitment to Agenda 21 and Millennium Developmental Goals. These are three important landmarks in the area of sustainable development. As far as different types of sustainability is concerned, Sustainability can be classified as weak sustainability, sensible sustainability, and strong sustainability, depending on the level of issues that has been addressed to keep a balance between the one's uh, requirement of the population, their life uh, in order to maintain their lifestyle, and balancing between the natural resources and ecosystem. Now, sustainable development takes into cognizance various aspects and we can put, state the various elements of sustainable development as political, economic, institutional, technological, socio-cultural, ecological. So, the elements of sustainable development lies in the socio-political milieu of the country the economic status of that particular country, the institutional governance and know-how, technology has played a very significant role in preservation as well as exploitation of the environment and socio-cultural socio practices and ecological considerations. So there are many issues for that. The parameters of social development are both economic, ecological, technological, Within the economic framework, maintaining a sustainable population, maintaining productivity and profitability of environment and natural resources. So, in economic considerations, economic theories, sustaining po sustainable population and productivity has to be taken into account. Ecological issues, maintaining a sustainable population again, maintaining productivity and profitability of environment and natural resources, the same and technological promoting proper management of waste and residues, particularly the re recycling power. And by that we can uh, avoid the exploitation of natural resources. Once you recycle the water, then it becomes easier to maintain. Adopting environment friendly technologies. And these are the two, two technical technological issues. One is managing of the waste and other eco friendly. Uh, environmental friendly measures in technology. Key holder, stakeholders in sustainable development are government is the key actor in, in quality, which is concerned with democratic governance and security of human rights. Civil society is the key actor in culture, which is concerned with the development of social and spiritual capacities of human beings. So, government, civil society are two, two major play players. Business is a key factor in the economy, which is mainly concerned with producing goods and services for people. And a lot of industries, a lot of uh, business enterprises, they can be, have very serious consequences in the environment, but they, they are not properly implemented. Business, sustainable development, business is the key actor in economy, which is mainly concerned with producing goods and services of the people. Government is the key actor in polity, which is concerned with democratic governance and security of human rights. And third, civil society is the key actor in culture, which is concerned with the development of the society and spiritual capabilities of human beings. The point that emerges that every government must be conscious about preserving the natural resources 
an ecosystem for the future generation. That type of commitment for the political commitment is desired. And while going industries, uh, this should be taken into account. And civil society must, must ensure that environment must be preserved uh, in, at any cost. So, sustainable strategy as outlined in Rio Agenda 21, this government strategy should be built upon and harmonize the very sectoral, economic, social, and environmental policies and plans that are operating in the country. Its goal should be to ensure social responsible economic development while protecting the resource base and environment for the benefit of the future generation. It should be developed through the widest possible participation. Environmental strategies and strategy lists reform environmentalist traditional bureaucracies and political section, direct action and intervention, earth first the concern, single issue lobbying intervention groups, save the rock valley systems, permanent organization like Greenpeace, Alliance and Coalition, Canadian Coalition on Acid Rain. Roundtable forums like National Roundtable on Environment and Economy. Principles of sustainable development are it operates on the principle of individual work. Individual work. Environmental problems cross national boundaries in such phenomena or as acid rain and global warming. Does not mean economic stagnation or giving up economic growth by the sake of the environment. It should even promote an economic development as a prerequisite for maintaining environmental quality. Sustainable development in agriculture, forestry, and the fishery sectors involves conservation of land, water, plant, and animal genetic sources, does not degrade the environment and is technically appropriate economically viable and socially acceptable. At the level of individuals and communities, sustainable development is a process focused on people and societies, how they define needs, it refers to their own goals and the goals that they share as members of communities and nations. It is in contrast to the development that focused on resource exploitation to generate short term wealth. Sustainability, the major components are environmental, economic, social, political, as we have discussed earlier also. The environmental sustainability, the emphasis is on, on three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle. Eco-friendly, being less bad, can compromise be green, can companies be green, all companies being promoted, they should have green belts to overcome the effect of pollution. The system supports must be followed. Economic sustainability talks of who is paying for your product, user, NGO, or government, and all should, should take the responsibility for sustaining the environment. Will they keep paying? That is important also, otherwise, uh, if they will not keep paying, then whatever problem that has started in the environment that cannot be taken care of. Why? And why? What is their interest? Social sustainability, that your product fit into the social context, that is important. Are there people with the level of skill needed to repair, maintain your product? Does your product make people's life look better, life better? Does any part of marketing, using this proposal, this for giving up your blood on people or on the environment that should be taken into account. Like plastics, you know, plastic bags have been banned in many parts of the world. Sustainable development and environmental accounting, despite our mantras of making products that poor people can afford, we care about development, not just profits. But profits are the best way we know of measuring the effectiveness of our products and this can be missing. Control, rural poverty, development and environment. 
Rural poverty in the modern day decades will attract leading to soil erosion and deforestation. Once there is a soil erosion and deforestation, the environmental problems increase. Deforestation, loss of livelihood, loss of groundwater, fuel shortages, lower agricultural productivity, occurrence of natural disasters. So, rural poverty and development are interlinked. Urban poverty, development and environment issues. Urban poverty causes environmental diseases in two ways industrialization and urban air pollution. Environmental Kajinex curve, role of taxation in controlling pollution externalities, congestion and ability of clean water and sanitation, productivity losses, financial feasibility of providing clean water, drinking water and sanitation for all. Policy opportunities to reduce poverty and improve environment, reform domestic international industrial policies, industrial emissions abatement policies should be there, reform trade policies so that the poorest may benefit from that, make FDI more pro poor, enhance the contribution of multilateral environmental agreements to provide poverty reduction, ensure sustainable company consumption and production. Ensure the effectiveness of, the de of development cooperation and debt reliefs. One important thing is that corporate, uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, the funds should be utilized judiciously for the improvement of the environment and for health of the people. Pillars of sustainable development are economic development. So if there is economic development uh, in terms of poverty eradication, by our we remember that the Millennium Development Goals talked of reducing poverty by 2015, the proportion of world's people with income less than one dollar a day. Basic health services for all to reduce health effects because health is considered a very significant input for overall social and development. The population is not healthy, their health is not likely to be good. Increased food availability. We say, for example, right now we have more than 6 billion people, but 2000 by 2050 it will be around 9 billion. So, and the urban areas have been increasing very far. Right? It is estimated that 61% of the population will be urban. So, land area will shrink. So, probably the present technology or whatever we do, the uh, routine way of agriculture. Green, white, and rural vessels will not be able to take care of unless non conventional sources of food are also taken into account. Combat desertification, mitigate effects of drought and floods, provision of clean drinking water, in the, and you have to enhance industrial productivity. Keep, keep, keeping in mind that the environment should be protected by green berries and so on. Social development, active participation of women, education, good governance. Good governance, transparency are key to success of any program. Environmental production, prevalent environmental degradation and patterns of unsuccessful development should be taken into consideration. At the local, national, regional, and global levels, action should be initiated in this regard. Changing unsustainable patterns of consumption. Cleaner production technologies should adopt. Develop in cleaner, more effect, efficient energy technologies. Maintain urban air quality and health and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Sound management of chemicals throughout the life cycle and of hazards, hazardous waste. Protecting the natural resource base. Prevent water pollution to reduce health hazards and protect ecosystems. Water said Groundwater management, recharging of the groundwater. Every year, water level is declining, and unless the ground, re, groundwater is recharged, water scarcity will be a big problem. Support desalination of uh, seawater, water recycling, ensure the sustainable development of oceans, marine environmental protection, and uh, 
priority areas for action would be water and sanitation, energy, health, agriculture, biodiversity protection, and ecosystem management. Water and sanitation, what is not only the most basic of needs, but is also at the center of sustainable development. Preservation of water for future generation is a must. Around 1.2 billion people still have no access to clean drinking water. Around 2.4 billion people don't have adequate sanitation. So, water and sanitation. Government of India is putting a lot of effort on total sanitary campaign. And a lot of programs and a lot of initiatives are taken in this direction. Some key issues pertaining to water and sanitation are prevent water pollution to reduce health hazards. Protect ecosystems. Introduce technologies for affordable sanitation, industrial and domestic wastewater management, river basin, water shed and groundwater management, groundwater charging, water conservation is a must. Support desalination of seawater drying, water recycling, marine environmental protection, ocean, seas, and earth ecosystems has to be protected for future generations. Energy is one area. Some 2 billion people lack access to electricity and rely on traditional fuel sources such as firewood, kerosene, oil, or biomass for their cooking and heating. This causes, exposes them to several health hazards, particularly chronic obstructive lung disease, and that is causing a very serious problem. Some key issues are focus on access to energy in blue areas, energy conservation and energy efficiency in terms of building design, management, better mass transfer, transportation, advanced and innovative clean air technologies, promotion of renewable energy, action on climate change, ratification by countries of the Kyoto Protocol, particularly on the climate change, and we have to reverse the change of climate change. Climate change is exposing serious problems not only in terms of the technological shift, or the paradigm shift in the epidemiology of various diseases, it is exposing to flood, it is exposing to because of rising temperature, there is a rising death due to cardiovascular diseases and other non communicable diseases. Health, good health is vital for eradicating poverty and achieving sustainable development. Some key issues are Reduce the mortality rates in 2015 by 66% for children and infants under 5 and by 75 mental mortality rate. Control and eradicate communicable disease, reduce HIV prevalence, combat malaria and the process, ensure that chemicals are not used to produce in ways that harm human health and reduce air pollution. In fact, in the MDGs, our main priority was the reduction of the maternal and child mortality and reducing poverty. But the present sustainable development goals are emphasizing on overall development of health and well being of the population. And that is possible only if a cleaner environment is ensured for each and every person. Agriculture sector Agriculture is central to sustainable development. About 70% of the poor developing countries live in rural areas and depend in one way or another on agriculture for their survival. Some key issues are address serious soil fertility problems. Soils are being extensively used, they are being exploited, and unless the nutrients are replenished, they are, they are, the nutrients will be lacking those nutrients. Diversification of crops, particularly for nitrogen retention and so on, to increase water use productivity, apply research and development to increase productivity in the crops and livestock. Even the irrigation systems may be uh, modified, 80% of the water is being used for just irrigation purpose. And newer technological innovations in terms of irrigating a larger area with less quantity of water will be more useful in this direction. Take a look at the global agriculture. Between 1960 and 2000, the world population doubled from 3 to 6 billion, peak population, uh, billion people. Global economy increased more, more than sixfold. To meet this demand, food production increased two and a half times, water use doubled, so 
food harvest for pulp and paper production tripled and timber production increased by more than half. Livestock development is an important area. Livestock development must talk of sustainable animal production, improving productivity of animals, seed supplementation by increasing livestock production, improving fertility and disease diagnosis. So livestock development is also important. We have to take into consideration that their health is improved they, and they are free from diseases. Uh, if they are free from the disease, many of the genetic diseases which may affect human beings can be taken care of. Fertilizers, sir, fertilizers, sir, fertilizers and pesticide use with huge yielding varieties of crops, most soils are unable to supply the needed amounts of plant nutrients. Fertilizers are, and chemicals that supply bone nutrients, mostly nitrogen, phosphorus, and it is a manufacture of nitrogen based synthetic fertilizers require fossil fuels as raw material. Biodiversity management, biodiversity and ecosystem for the living basis of sustainable development. Biodiversity is in the modern term, which simply means the variety of life on earth. The variety can be measured on several different levels. Genetic variation between individuals of the same species. This includes genetic variation between individuals in a single population as well as variations between different populations of the same species. Species, species diversity, diversity is the variety of species in a given region or area. This can be driven by counting the number of different species. Ecosystem management. Ecosystem communities of pl plants and animals together with the physical characteristics of their environment, geology, soil and climate, interlinked together as an ecosystem. Ecosystem diversity is the most difficult to measure because there are rarely clear boundaries between different ecosystems. Degradation of ecosystems. Degradation of ecosystems refers to forest, fresh water, marine water, very Upsetting the carbon cycle, resulting in global warming and climate change, and the consequences. Depletion of ozone layer, pesticides, heavy metals, and persistent toxic chemicals like DDT poisoning them, the wave of life, loss of clean air. Issues of sustainable development are how can we all live well and live within the means of our planet? There is, this is the question of 21st century. If you don't design ways to live within the means of our planet, sustainability will remain an issue. Major concerns of greenhouse effect, gases that trap heat in the atmosphere are called greenhouse gases. Now greenhouse gases are those that can absorb emit infrared radiation. So in order to the most abundant greenhouse gases in earth and atmosphere are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, ozone. So each and every effort should be made that the production of these gases are less and uh, global warming is emerging a very serious threat. Global warming has not only caused change in epidemiological sex in the disease pattern, those areas which are free from malaria, malaria is occurring there. Certain areas are, where the floods were not occurring because of rising sea level, rising temperature, the, they are, the floods are quite common in those areas. And the burning of fossil fuels, land use cha change, and other industrial activities. Since the industrial revolution have increased their greenhouse gases in the atmosphere in such a level that the earth's surface is heating up in the temperatures that are very destructive to life on earth. Now, global warming has to be curbed. Renew as far as energy is concerned, renewable energy or flows of energy that are Regenerative are virtually inexhaustible. Sustainable energy is the energy which is replaceable within the human lifetime and cause no long, no long term damages to the environment. More people, 
definitely there will be more pollution. So pollution control, just simple, okay, more people, more pollution, that uh, talks of not only population menace, but it also talks of that the more people are confined to a particular area, that is a population explosion in a particular city or particular area, okay, the more risky and less they will be, they will be planned development in that particular area. One option, emissions reduction, reduce pollution. Biocapacity, biocapacity is shorthand for biological capacity. You see, the ability of an ecosystem to produce useful bio, biological materials and to absorb best generated by the humans. We should place a limit on CO2 emissions to, do so, to ensure sustainable development. Carbon dioxide emission has to, limit has to be placed. Now, just to summarize what we have discussed just now, the concept of sustainable development, the concept of sustainable development is an evolving one. There is no fixed difficult location. It evolves over a period of time. There is no quick and fast rule towards sustainable development because of its multi-dimensional and complex nature. Sustainable development is dynamic and adjusts to the changing conditions and needs of the time. Population pressure exaggerates both poverty and environmental degradation. Consider future present needs when making decisions about environmental sustainable development, resource and energy use, technological development, direction of investments, social, political and institutional change and so on. Finally, it is our responsibility of not only scientists or not only politicians of each and every human being that they should use their human resources in a judicious manner without causing harm to the ecosystem so that we can give the heritage which we have received from our predecessors to the future generation and future generation is not put at any uh, uh, environmental adversities. Thank you very much for visiting the